the following song was written by the world famous Charlie Chaplin. Beautiful lyrics and it speaks. And this is what it says. Smile though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you get by. Smile through your tears and sorrows. Smile though maybe tomorrow you will see the sun come shining through for you. your face with gladness hide every trace of sadness although a tear may be ever so near that's the time you must keep on smiling what is the use of crying you will find that If you just smile, you will find that life is still worthwhile. If you just smile, only if you just smile, if you just smile, just smile. You got to just smile. That's the time you must keep on smiling. on your face you will find that your life will still be worthwhile if you just smile oh, if you just smile well I gotta do this Put a smile on your face You just smile to me se gospel show sikhona ke lana mhlanje e life destiny tv sijabele ukusibe nani nalo mhlanje njengoba sivule isabatha elihle sidumisa u Jesus Christ umfeli wethu igama lami ke ulondiwe kakhuzwayo uqwabe uyeyeye ugumede nophakathwayo and while joining ulondiwe it is me the girl who has a sutu name zulu surname and yet at the same time speaks kosa igama lami ngundi makatsa okathole ojobe omondise are you probably wondering what it is that why is it that we are in this beautiful regalia that we are in, to, in tonight and why we are actually uh, celebrating our own ethnic languages. It is because we see Piyoza la Invela Piyo to Kenam Slanji and it's Londo, eh? Eh, when Jenny goes to So much so that we have a gentleman, Obizongo Vuyo Chuma, who is born and bred from Zimbabwe, even though he's based here in Brixton. And I'm super excited about the journey he's going to share with us uh -huh. in this ministry. Mm -hmm. Also, the beautiful music that suits our soul. Yes, but actually talking about Ovuyo, I'm reminded yeah. of Lionel 
lovers. It is in Ghana. Great is thy faithfulness for new mercies we see every, every day. day, every morning actually. Every yes, it's because I think Uwe is one of one of uh, blessed, you know, musicians who has been around and who has done so much in this ministry of beautiful music. Indeed, indeed, so blessed. So the Ash has a really, really great vocabulary. <laughs> That's right, hey? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And of course, if you have not checked out our social media platforms, we are available on Twitter, Instagram, as well as Facebook. Please do stay in touch with us throughout the show. And of course, any time during the week as well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and all for now, do enjoy a beautiful rendition from Ovoyo. He never sleeps. Slumbers, he watches me all night and day. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. The reason I know. So I don't have to worry My soul's in his care I don't have to worry He'll always be there I know that he's watching Wherever I go, I know that he is watching. He told me so. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He watches me all night and day. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. The reason I know he told me studio right now is the one and only Vuyo Chuma. I would like to say a jack of all trades, a true music genius. Vuyo, 
Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, thank you for having me. And, thank uh, you for blessing it's, it's us an honor, your It's an honor to be here. Uh, I'm, wow. already, I'm already seeing you in harmony. Those colors oh, are yes. eclectic and they're awesome. <laughs> Can you see musical things just by looking at these colors? Straight away, because I see tones in color as well. <laughs> You're so smart. What is this though? Your vocabulary, the music, it's everything, man. Like, oh, really blessed. take that as a compliment. God <laughs> bless your soul and God bless us all. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Vuyo, I want to know, who is Vuyo? And how was Vuyo Chuma born in terms of your name, the brand that you've built for yourself today? Who are you? Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to formalize this way. Uh, well, you said my name in full. I, I, I humbly appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I am uh, Vuyo Chuma. Um, you know, um, I, 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 I realized my musical, you know, prowess from the tender age of three. Jani. Uh, I honestly don't know. Okay. Um, I just realized that I was just aware of myself musically at the age of three. Wow. And uh, there was a lot of growing up from that. Mm. However, at that tender age, um, I, my father channeled my ears to King Settle's music. All right. You know, and uh, the four-part harmony. And uh, I would listen to vinyls, you know, being mm. played on those gramophones. Yes. Now, being little at that yes. time, I would literally take some of those and scrub them on the what? floor, uh, much to my dad's admonition. Oh, no. Son, that's... What are you doing? Crazy. You know, so so I would listen to more of that, you know, as I grew yeah. up. And then, and then as I became a little older, you know, growing up, I discovered that, okay, I'm beginning to... To develop an, an affinity for, mm. for 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 things that I can't really define, mm. but uh, they're somewhere there, you know. Because sometimes I would listen to King's Reynolds and improvise on my own parts, you know. And at the age of three, at the age of three, and and if I am to sing wow. bass in a setup, yes. this, this is what would happen. Okay, I'll literally, <laughs> I'll literally hear first tenor, second tenor, baritone, and on bass, I'll simply vocalize from within because I don't have the range that yes, I go down. So yes, it's and it's my so father would look at me and say. Okay, guys, we're going to rehearse that. Let's start again. He's going to figure out the part. Let's go. And then I'll simply octave it up oh, and wow. give them the part. And, oh, and, so, wow. and so I find it fun, mm. you know, uh, to do. And in as much as I found it fun to do then at that time, because I never was assertive mm. as somebody who was aware of things because I was a little child growing up. Yeah. So uh, as I grew up, I began to uh, improvise, a lot, I mean, you know, improvise on a lot of things, you mm. know, musically in primary school. Mm. I was made a uh, primary school choir conductor. I'm like, okay, because... This is a gift, Buyo. It is a gift. It's a gift from God. It's a gift from God because yeah. I'll tell you now, some of these things, I tend to look back and say, so I can do this without thinking. Yes. And I it's thank God. It's natural. Yeah, and I thank God every day. It's, it's wow. actually amazing. It's actually amazing. Interesting, interesting. Mm. So, Vuyo, when you started, you know, in the church, mm. um, I'm guessing you played there um, at the beginning, right? Yeah. And, and, and your genre, first of all, I want to know, what do you call it? And then how did the church accept it, if they did at that time? And then jumping years later, how do people view your music and your taste or your uh, work and your musical pieces? Okay, just prior to uh, characterizing it as a genre, okay. I am heavily affiliated to, and okay. I incline myself yeah. to jazz, Ooh, in particular a cappella yeah. vocal jazz. Now yes. that's my strength. Mm. Um, I was filled with effervescence to explode this passion on yeah. stage, you know? Starting at the church, you know, paradigms, yeah. you know, the church parameters, you know. Mm. When I first uh, executed this uh, prowess, I remember a long time ago in one church, I was literally called a Satanist because nobody I'm understood. I'm telling you, because nobody understood the sure. harmonies at that particular time mm. because people were used to conventional yes. four-part harmonies. That's what they knew. You know, man. do, mm. me, so, do, mm. Mm. pentatonic yeah, scale. Come and, with this thing now. And, and then they come <laughs> with your, you know, uh, six-part harmonies and mm. stuff and a, a song starts on one key and ends on another key. Mm. Nobody understood modulation at that time, you know, uh, hearing referred to as transition. Wow, okay. You know, in, 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 in many music circles. Mm. So, 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 so I had to take the brunt and okay. accept that, uh, you know what, I'll still soldier on. Yes. And then over time, uh, a couple of people be began to realize that, hmm, 
There could be something here. Mm. Fast forward, 15, 20 years later, when we look back, uh, it now makes sense that, oh, so this is where this little mind was. Yes. You know, and I'm only too happy to mm. glory in that with humility to say, ah, oh, yes. yes, finally somebody sees the light, you know. Mm. So it's possible to harmonize together. Yes. So I'm more than happy to share this uh, uh, love for vocal arranging and a cappella love yes. uh, to the world. Amazing. I love that part on sharing, right? Yeah. I know you told me that you didn't even go to school for this music. No, I didn't go to school for it. It's purely natural. It's purely natural. That's yeah. why I say it's a gift from God. Absolutely. So you teach a lot of people. You yeah. teach people. You work with celebrities. Mm. Mm. Man, you're big. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, okay, humble, I humble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, so... So how, how, how did you get yourself to be able to share your music, you know, with celebrities that are from the church and not from the church? How do you put yourself on that map? And why do you think it's important to be able to work with all types of people and mm. grow your indus in the industry mm. and your name, basically? Good question. It's been a very humble beginning and a yeah. very uh, um, 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 surprising one, um, yeah. um, 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 you know, um, for reasons more than one. Okay. And I'll say why. Mm. <clears throat> A good friend of mine who happens to be in the same industry as I am, Humus okay. Wamshuhi, uh, introduced me mm. many years ago to Temba Mkize. Yes. Prior to then, I remember having a, uh, a, 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 a discussion with my father, who was okay. also in his own right a uh, proficient musician yes. from which... Uh, well, I took after. Yes, so, you got him. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yeah. so, 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 so I said to him, you know, when I meet this man... Uh, because he does the exact same things that I do, you know, vocal harmony and stuff. And that's what caught my attention. Apart from him being one of South Africa's most prolific jazz pianists, mm. he stuck wow. out with uh, surprise vocal arrangements. So I said to my father one day, passionately, I said, um, mm. when, I, when I work with this man, if I meet him for the first time, if I meet him, mm. we will that's change the a cappella yes. landscape forever. I yeah. did not know then what I was pronouncing upon yes. myself. A year later, I was sitting in his car. Wow. And I said to him, a year ago, in this month, I was telling my father these exact same words. Wow. Now I'm in your presence. I'm so humbled. And he says, your dream has come, come true. true. Tell Amen. you what, we are going to work together. And guess what? Lovely. Every project that came via his studio, I was yeah. humbled enough to be featured on those projects. It's beautiful. Namely, Nawukanya Tamini, Andin Mselegu the Late, uh, and quite a number of uh, projects, you know. Um, 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 that's where my footprint now began to grow sure. and people began to realize, who is this? Uh, who was this man? The sound, you know. <laughs> and, then, and, then, yeah. and then the tentacles began to stretch forth okay. when I began to delve more into the commercial space mm. with the advent of uh, uh, people like uh, Bricks, you know, DJ Cleo, wow. you know, the well-known songs like yes. Rest in Peace and stuff. Yes. So for those who were wondering who did those harmonies yes. or those projects, you, I humbly submit that. <laughs> Today um, we um, know, um, we know, it's him. <laughs> you know, so, oh, so, so, so it's yeah. on such projects and yeah. many other similar projects that I've done over the years yeah. with the Tembisil and Dagas and the Margaret Mtsakes, okay. you know, uh, that footprint um, is, is what I've um, yeah. Yeah, identified myself with and attracted uh, a whole lot of, uh, a flurry Dimity, of attention yeah. from people who now associate, you know, themselves with the sound like uh, Concord and Gabinde and uh, Lonis Machiza, Kamatlangu, just to name sure. a few who represent yeah. those who love the music, the harmony lovely, that is. Lovely, lovely. Buyo, you're amazing. Thank you. You are a genius, I must say. I'm humble. Thank <laughs> I you. know you're humble, but you are a genius. Thank you. I really <laughs> May appreciate. God truly, really, truly really bless you in your ministry. Thank you so much. I really there appreciate. you have it, though. There you have it. That is Uvuyo Chuma, the one and only Mr. Chuma, sharing more about how basically he has made himself a brand today and has used himself in this ministry. Up next, we're going to have Vuyo. But before that, let's go to a quick ad break. Don't you dare move. Great is the Lord, He is holy and just, by His power we trust in His love. Great is the Lord, He is faithful and true, by His mercy He proves His love. Oh, great is the Lord and worthy 
of glory. Great is the Lord and worthy of praise. Great is the Lord. I lift up my voice. I lift up my voice. Great is the Lord. Great is the great is the Lord. He is worthy of glory. Great is the Lord. He is worthy of praise. Great is the Lord. He is worthy of glory. Great is the Lord, he is worthy of praise. Great is the Lord, he is only and just by his power we trust in his love. Great is the Lord, he is faithful and true by his mercy he proves his love. Oh, great is the Lord and worthy of glory. Great is the Lord and worthy My voice, I lift up my voice, I lift up my voice, I lift up my voice. Great is the Lord. Great is the great is the Lord, worthy of glory. Great is the Lord and worthy of praise. Great is the Lord, he is worthy of glory. Great is the Lord and worthy of grace. The following song was originally done by Take Six way back in 1988. And um, it's entitled Spread Love. I'll attempt it to do it as a solo. I know somebody who declares he's got it made He won't admit it, but it's just a masquerade He's a modern day deceiver With a case of falsehood fever Oh, what a shame, oh, oh, what a shame mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's dear old sister Sarah Oh, ain't she sweet? She gets the word, next thing you know, it's in the street. By the time it's been repeated, all the truth has been deleted. Oh, what a shame. Oh, 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 oh it's a game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seems like everything we hear is just a tale. But I know of a truth that it will never, ever fail. It's called love, spread love. The truth needs no disguise. Mm -mm -mm. Spread love instead of spreading lies. I've often said love could open any door. Oh, but I wish we had much more. More love is what we need. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then there's a family that we'll just call the greens. Mm -mm -mm. They have subscriptions to the gossip magazine With a twisted sense of vision They treat rumors like a religion oh, What a shame, oh, 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 it's the same for them mm -mm. It seems like everything we hear is just a tale But I know of a truth that it will never ever fail It's God's love, spread love Instead of spreading lies, mm -mm -mm. spread love. The truth needs no disguise. I've often said love could open any door. Oh, but I wish we had much more. More love is what we need. What the world needs now is love. More love is what we need. What the world needs now. Spread love instead of spreading lies. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Spread love, the truth is no disguise. I've often said love could open any door. Oh, but I wish we had much more, 
More love is what we need. What we need, spread love. Instead of spreading lies, mm -mm -mm -mm. spread love. The truth is no disguise. I've often said love could open any door. Oh, but I wish we had much more. More love is what we need. 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 Welcome back on your favorite gospel show in TV, and that is Masim Dumise on Life Destiny TV. Right now, I am sitting with Uvuye Chuma, and I'm pretty sure that you have been blessed by his beautiful music, as well as, you know, the words of wisdom that he has been sharing with Ulundiwe just before the ad break. And we will continue this chat with Uvuye, getting to know more about him and about his ministry. From my side, Vuyo, how are you? I am super awesome. Have you, have you been enjoying your evening? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. You know what? Us ourselves, me myself, actually, I really, really, really am enjoying you. We uh, are must say. Really, I really, I really appreciate it, sir. It's an honor, actually. I just want to get to one little thing. Okay. You are from Zimbabwe. Yeah. Your name is Ovoyo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please. Ovoyo is a Kosa name. Mm -hmm, it is. How do you find this Kosa name in Zimbabwe? Uh, <clears throat> you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. There is a particular place in Zim where right. you will find most of these representations okay. in South Africa. Like you get your, you, especially in the southwestern part of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you get your equivalent of the Corsas, All right. where you get the equivalent of the Zulus, Interesting. and Pion Debele, you know what I mean? Interesting. So you'll find the Kumalos, you'll find the Stoles, you'll find the, you can name them. Okay. So, so, so my uh, uncle mm -hmm. was fascinated about the name. Oh. And he named me Vuyo, so I got to discover. And mm. then I lived my name And John Gavuyo, you are so full of Vuyo. You know, <laughs> with you, Jay, there's just joy. I, anyway, I'm thank humble. you for the moment of education thank there. You. Okay, Vuyo, just from your recent uh, conversation with Olundi, we have established that, you know what, you are well-versed, well-experienced in this music arena, if I can call That's it right, that. Thank you. Now, my interest is in knowing, Guti, you know, what are you doing to actually give back to the younger generation, you know, to, to help them grow as well, you know, to maybe, you know, get to have future for your tumors like mm -hmm. yourself, you know? Uh, beautiful question, good question. In the past 16 years of my uh, musical uh, tenure professionally, mm. I've come to a point where I find myself uh, passionately driven to give back to the community. And how do I do that? Uh, by engaging in musical workshop, especially, especially, uh, uh, you know, um, on voice development. Okay. You know, uh, voice development mm. and uh, uh, just uh, a increasing the vocal expanse, you know, the vocal expanse of uh, people around so that at the end of the day, we quash the sentiment mm. that suggests that there are certain things that we are limited to and we cannot go overboard. All right. That's my quest and mm. it's very fulfilling. And that's what I, that's my, that's my that's primary question. Yeah, that's my primary question. Allow me to interject today. Right. I like what you are saying, you know, to quash the, <laughs> the sentiments of limitations yeah. and, 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 and vocal mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. um, what are your sentiments in the idea of saying that not all of us are musicians? Do you think you can take someone with, with no musical background, you know, who doesn't really have you know, a, a pleasant sound to music and, and build them to be a musician. Is that possible? <laughs> I love your question mm. because I encounter that almost on a, an, an every, you know, day basis, you know, mm. on a frequent basis because in my, in my, in my, in my, in my experiences, I have encountered uh, people who really struggle musically and with uh, perception. I think and I want to believe that it's the extraordinary gift that God has given me okay. to take somebody who is not even aware of themselves musically. All right. Because there is this thing in me that can read into somebody okay. and establish something that they're overly not aware of mm -hmm. and bring that to the fore. And then it's a eureka. I've found myself somewhere. 
and then we capitalize on that. So, 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 so to such people, I say there is hope. Okay. But then right. there are some who, well, for godly reasons, <laughs> do not have music within their system. <laughs> okay. I All right. would advise that they lovingly follow other courses of action <laughs> because they've got hidden talents other than music Beautiful. that they can, you know. Beautiful. And, 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 and I make sure I do that with uh, all the love in the oh, world. Oh, you know what, Rio? I love your modest <laughs> response to that. Stonga, you can actually turn Umun to back and, and they will go back with feeling no heartache or heartbreak, you know, from that rejection. Uh, now, <laughs> you, you, you uh, um, mentioned to Ulandi earlier on that you, you realized your, your uh, music talent mm -hmm. from the tender age of three, yeah. if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. What would you advise parents out there? What is the best age to start, uh, you know, exposing their little ones to, you know, music education? Ah, good question. I'd actually say, you know, from the very onset that for some God-given reason their child exudes certain facets of musicality. Yeah. I'd urge the parents to have an open mind. Mm-hmm and garner their kids' energies towards that trajectory. Okay, okay. So that at the end of the day, when they grow up in life, mm. they can make informed decisions based on what they've been channeled to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you've got professional careers they want to pursue, so yeah. they want to be accountants and stuff, but they still have the passion of music and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? So, 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 so be that as it may, as the people grow, they will employ those choices as tools to move into what they're passionate about. Okay. In this case, if it's going to be music, then they'll know that, oh, I was channeled from when I was young. Yeah. At least I can assume this trajectory so that I can do it as a source of living or as a hobby, but either way, it's from an informed perspective and background. I so that. I'd say parents must not turn a blind eye uh -huh. to genius and prowess and potentialities when mm. their children are... Uh, 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 show the first signs of that. Okay. I think okay. it's support in its infancy. Mm. It must be brought up lovingly because I know uh, <laughs> that, uh, you know, parents sometimes, uh, not from a bad space, yeah. would love to see their wishes being fulfilled through the children. Yeah, it's it, a it happens. cultural thing. It's an, it's an African thing. Mm. But sometimes we want to add a little bit of love to that and say, you know what? Let's do what we can do, arm them with what we can arm them, channel them to what they, and support them in okay. what they love the most. Allow me, allow me to interject as well, right. because we, we don't have much time on mm, our no side. No right. um, have you experienced rejection and how did you deal with it? Yes, I have experienced rejection. <laughs> in, one wouldn't say, hey, it, one wouldn't yeah, say in more ways, Yeah, in more ways than one. I remember uh, in, 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 in one that sticks out when I was speaking to uh, Londi earlier, I was called a Satanist because my harmonies were just not accepted mm. uh, by the elite few at that particular time. But then in my, in my my, in my in my other social social spheres, you know, mm -hmm. there is this thing that oh, okay, so who do you think you are now that you can do this thing? You uh -huh, know, uh -huh. I was fortunate enough to have people around me and eventually my parents who got to support me to say, you know what, you are gifted in this. Okay. Don't stop. Go and on. I'll and I and and I'll say this with humility. I remember one time meeting a friend of mine who I had not seen in about 25 years. Mm. So I found him drinking coffee in a restaurant and I was like, oh, man, it's been a long while. And then when he meets me, he says, I'm talking to somebody on the phone. I'm talking about you and here you are. Let's take a selfie. And he says, this is the guy who has stood the test of time. He soldiered on despite Beautiful. adversities. And I always thank God for giving me the strength to do just that. And it's... Beautiful. Jonga yeah. Voyo, now on my side, I would love to continue talking to you. Same, you know what? Yeah. And I'd like to believe that our viewers at home would actually love to hear more from you. Like, mm. you know, uh, actually follow yeah. you or just yeah. get in touch with you. How can they do that? Where are you Are, are you uh, located? Absolutely. Uh, Vuyamusic.com is my website. Okay. Uh, climb onto it. Uh, find out what interests you there. Uh -huh. There's an inquiry section. Uh, all my social media handles are there. My official email is uh, info at viewmusic.com. Info 
at vuomusic.com. Everything is going to be on vuomusic.com. Lovely, lovely, beautiful. I Thank love you, Vio. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. And you look like heritage, you know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah, Thank and you. I'm seeing your tones in colors as well. <laughs> Thank <Lovely>. you, Vio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you, uh, viewers at home. I hope you really, really enjoyed that segment with Uvu Yochuma. Please do follow him, keep in touch with him, and, and just enjoy the, the gift that he's sharing with us. Right now, we are moving to a beautiful rendition from Uvu Yo. Do enjoy. <laughs> Oh 
Welcome back, Babukeli Betu Emakaya. In those is that we're going to have Imbongi, who is going to be actually praising and worshiping God in word, and that is poetry. Wow, yes, Mante Takandoni. Indeed, indeed. I'm super excited about that. But before we can jump to that part of the show, we have what we call the amazing, amazing Git Guide, and we care about you so much that we want to make sure that you have amazing programs all lined up for the next coming weekends. So keep your eyes glued to the screen and check out the Git Guide. Temptation is thy name. Temptation is thy name. I am caught in your game. Deliver me from thy touch for I long for you so much. Temptation is thy tongue as it caresses my heart that hung my soul to dry as I gave in with no lie. Temptation is thy song when you sing in melodies that only my ear can listen. Yet your temptress mind can only, your temptress mind is laying me into a bed that I can never escape from temptress mind temptress mind depart from me for thy song sings so much melodies so much keys that only your heart can only open see i've told myself in million times i've told myself a million times that i will not go there i will not see thy light the only dimming light that will only lead me to my deception see he told me that I am beautiful, I am all sort of amazing, I am all sort of deliverance, yet he never told me that one lie, that one lie that at that point of deception, he will lay me there and leave me hanging to die. Die with the hope that he will come back, come back and bring back the pieces that he left there. The pieces that he told me that I will one day remember him. I will one day remember him and probably see him in my eternity. But he forgot one, one, one voice though that will, on, will always remind me, will always remind me in my sanity. For at that time when he laid me, he only deceived me to listen to a voice that will lead me to his bed bed of lies bed of deception bed of telling me that i can do it i can be everything that he will will me to be but he forgot to tell me see the devil will only tell you what you want to hear because at that point in time it is delicious it is all sorts of awesome but he forgot to tell you that hey reality reality will bite you will bite you at the end for you will remember that hey deception is a color of blue red blinding you with only to remember that you you can't be that person you can't be that soul you can't be that temptation see temptation is thy name I am caught in your game. Please, deliver me from thy touch. Because all I can think of is you. <laughs> you know, it's just a mixed emotions right now. Uvuyu has blessed us so much. Mr. Chuma, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. And I know that we've been blessed. Yeah, that's right. And the was nine in the by his music. Thank you so much for watching. We love you so much. 
Well, Bandase, I don't have any more words to say to you, but to say that tonight was thoroughly a blessed evening. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this evening, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed it as well, and that you will continue to enjoy the Sabbath at your various home churches, and do continue to engage with us on our social media platforms, and that is Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, and Instagram, because, Tina, we enjoy and love talking to you. Thank you so much for watching, Tima. You've been really great. Awesome. Don't be on course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Same time, same place. Right here. It is Masum to Miss Season 4. Like you've never seen it before. Good night. Good night. If we ever are needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. Oh, we sure do need him now. Oh, Lord, we sure do need him now. Ever I needed the Lord before and sure to need him now. We need him every day and every hour. If we ever I needed the Lord before, we sure to need him now. Oh, oh sure to need him now. Oh Lord, we sure do need him now. If we ever I needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him every day and every hour. We need him in the morning. We need him in when we're sad. We shining bright if we ever needed the Lord before we sure do need him now oh, oh we sure do need him now oh Lord we sure do need him now if we ever I needed the Lord before when we're happy when we're sad Need him in the noonday when the sun is shining, shining bright. We need, we need him. We really, really, really need him when we're happy, when we're sad. We need him in the noonday when the sun is shining bright. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him. Now we need him every day and every.